Howdy! It's Jim Arado, and we are in, actually we're pretty much heading to Ravenswood, West Virginia. And this is July 2021. We took, took a little trip, kind of a weekend trip, just driving around the Ohio and hitting some of the little towns in Ohio and West Virginia that we weren't very familiar with. And this was just a neat little town we stopped in. Looked like it had some nice antique shops. Uh, my wife has pretty much banned me from uh, antique shopping for a while. One of the things she's banned me from, I also can't go to Goodwills. It's uh, I, I always find too much stuff when I go to those places. But it looked like they had some nice antique shops. They had a pretty downtown area. It looks like this little town has a pretty cool connection to George Washington. So we just decided to stop stop for a moment, drive through, check things out. As always, I'm sure I miss stuff. If if you know of something I missed or if there's something I got to see, I got to go back and see, let me know. I, I'd appreciate that. And just looking at Wikipedia, it uh, population of 2010 was right under 4,000. Ravenswood is sited on land once owned by George Washington. He acquired the 2,448-acre parcel in 1770 and designated Colonel William Crawford to survey the lands in 1771. A permanent settlement was first established in 1810, and the town streets and lots were laid out in their current pattern by descendants of Washington in 1835. Eh, I wonder if there's any descendants still in that area. Let, let me know if you know. And it says when Kaiser Aluminum planned a new facility with 12,000 workers, Bill Finley was hired to plan a company town of 25,000. He went on to become a planner with the National Capital Planning Commission and developed the community of Columbia, Maryland for the Rouse Company. And it says the Kaiser facility is now owned by Constilium and Century Aluminum. In February of 2010, USA Today referred to Ravenswood as teetering on a ghost town. Mayor Lucy Harbert responded by bringing in sponsors from several Silicon Valley based companies like ScanCafe.com and Startups.com. On March 26, 2010, Mike Rubin a reporter with the State Journal newspaper announced that Ravenswood was transforming the town into Aluminum City, USA to help attract local tourism revenue. LA promoter plans to market Aluminum City. I guess that was a headline. None of these developments came to fruition. So, okay, there's a little uh, history on the area. Uh, on the significant dates, just wanted to mention in 1960, presidential candidate John F. Kennedy visits Ravenswood during the primary election campaign. That's a pretty big deal. Anybody know more about that? You know, stops like that, especially for Kennedy. That's that's the kind of thing. I mean, that, that's a book waiting to happen right there. You know, John F. Kennedy coming to Ravenswood, West Virginia. Uh, yeah, I mean, if people have any stories about that, I'm sure there's some old newspaper articles. And that would definitely be something worth reading. It looks like there's a Washington's Lands Museum operated by the Jackson County Historical Society there. Uh, obviously, I missed that. Let me know if that's worth checking out. Place Name Lore. Two differing stories tell the naming of Ravenswood. One story tells that the town was originally named Ravensworth after the English relatives of a founding family, but somewhere between the Ohio River wilderness and the map maker in Richmond, the name was changed to Ravenswood. The second story says that Henrietta Fitzhugh, wife of one of the town founders, Henry Fitzhugh, named the town after the hero in Walter Scott's novel, The Bride of Lammermoor. And I'm not, f not familiar with that uh, book myself. 
But yeah, not not a ton on Ravenswood on Wikipedia. Obviously, some interesting history though. So yeah, definitely definitely a little town worth worth a drive through. I'm gonna have to make note of that museum for next time I'm in the area, and just the the uh, George Washington connection alone is worth uh, checking things out. So again, what did I miss though? Is there uh, you know I did see some kind of painted walls back there it looked like or some painted walls anyway yeah let me know if you know much more about the area and what else there is to do nearby uh, again it's another great little town along the Ohio River and we were glad that we stopped there on this uh, on this particular trip